Welcome back to Project 613. Today we will learn five mitzvot. The first comes in continuation with the mitzvah we learned yesterday, where a person needs to redeem the firstborn donkey from the Kohen. And this is done by either giving a lamb or the value of a lamb to the Kohen in place of the firstborn donkey. Now what happens if a person refuses to do this? Then the Torah tells us that the donkey needs to be put to death. The verse says, If you do not redeem your firstborn donkey, then its neck needs to be broken. The owner didn't want the Kohen to benefit from his donkey. The Torah punishes him that he also will not be able to benefit from it. This, of course, is not the preferred method. The Torah rather is that the owner does what he should do. He should redeem his donkey. But this mitzvah does apply in the event that the owner doesn't do what he should do. And now we move to a different topic, to the topic of the sabbatical year, the Shemitah year. This is the seventh year of the agricultural cycle. As we've mentioned a number of times in the Torah, the agricultural cycle works on a seven year cycle where six years that we are to work the land. And the mitzvah that we are learning now is the mitzvah of Shemitah, the mitzvah to rest the land on the seventh year. The verse says, V'shavta ha'aretz, the land should rest. And this mitzvah is repeated numerous times in the Torah. There's another verse that says, Be'echarishu ve'katsir tishpot, that you shall rest from plowing and from pruning. This in a way is similar to the Shabbat. For six days of the week we work and on the seventh day we rest. In a similar way, for six years we work the field and on the seventh day the field is left to rest. And keeping this mitzvah really is a very deep demonstration of our commitment, our trust and faith and our total dependence on Hashem. That Hashem will provide everything that we need for the farmer and for his family. That he'll have enough in the sixth year to keep him, to carry him forward in the seventh year that he shouldn't go hungry. This is the mitzvah of Shemitah, the positive mitzvah to allow the field to rest. And then we have a few negative mitzvot, a few prohibitions that come together with this. Number one is the prohibition of working the field. So if someone does work his field in the seventh year, not only has he not kept the positive mitzvah to rest, he's also violating a prohibition where the Torah says, Sadcha lo tiktsar, do not do any work. We are forbidden from doing any agricultural work on the field. And then, not only when it comes to the field, but the Torah also tells us, it is forbidden to do any work on the vineyard, which really means any work on trees as well. So it's not just work in the field, but we have a separate pro prohibition telling us that it's forbidden for us to do any agricultural work on fruit trees during the Shemitah year, during the sabbatical year. And then the last mitzvah that we learned today is about crops, wild crops that grow on their own during the Shemitah year. These are called Sefichim. So the Torah tells us that it is forbidden for us to harvest these Sefichim. It's forbidden for us to harvest the wild crops that grow on their own on the seventh year. Now this doesn't mean that a person is not allowed to go to his field and take some of them to eat. Of course, a person is not expected to starve during the seventh year. And the Torah in fact tells us that that which grows on its own is free for all and anyone can come and take from it, including the owner. Rather, when the Torah tells us that it's forbidden for us to harvest it, it means that it cannot be harvested in an organized way as one would usually harvest on a regular year. It cannot be done in a prepared, deliberate way. But of course, a person could come into, the, in, into his field and cut something that he needs just for then, for that day, or for that short amount of time, not in any prepared way and not on a long-term basis. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.